Good afternoon, dear students of class 10. Today, we are going to learn preparation of acids. Preparation of acids. Acids can be prepared in following ways. Number one, by synthesis. Number two, by the action of water on non-metallic oxide. Number three, by the oxidation of non-metals. Number four, by displacement. So, we'll do this turn-wise. Or, one by one, we'll be doing with examples. So, first of all, we'll be doing by synthesis. In class 9, I have told you what is synthesis. When one element reacts with another element to give a compound, then that is called synthesis. So, element plus element reacts to give a compound, then, then the reaction is called synthesis or direct combination synthesis or direct combination for example for example here in case of element i'll be taking non metal plus hydrogen gives acid non metal plus hydrogen gives acid non metal element hydrogen element acid compound so non metal for example chlorine plus hydrogen gives hcl now why am i writing chlorine as cl2 because it is diatomic hydrogen is also diatomic so here chlorine is two atom, hydrogen two atom, and here hydrogen one, chlorine one. So you balance it. That means one chlorine molecule reacts with one hydrogen molecule to give two hydrogen chloride. This is a gas, this is also gas, and this is also gas. Now again if I take bromine plus hydrogen it gives hydrogen bromide it gives hydrogen bromide here also this is gas this is also gas and this is also gas hydrogen bromide then if i take sulfur plus hydrogen then i will get hydrogen sulfide i will get hydrogen sulfide this is hydrogen Chloride, hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid. This is hydrogen bromide, hydrogen bromide or hydrobromic acid, and this is hydrogen sulfide, hydrogen sulfide. So similarly, similarly. We can react non metal plus hydrogen to get acid. Now, number two. So, what was number two? Number two was by the action of water on non metallic oxide. Number two is by the action of water on non-metallic oxide now here I'll be writing non-metallic oxide this non-metallic oxide can also be said as acidic oxide or acid and hydride acid and hydride acid 
acid and hydride. So non-metallic oxide, what do you mean non-metallic oxide? When non-metal gets oxidized, so oxidation of non-metal gives non-metallic oxide. For example, carbon plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide. That is non-metallic oxide. Sulfur plus oxygen gives sulfur dioxide. Nitrogen plus oxygen gives nitrogen dioxide. So these are non-metal. Non-metal plus oxygen. Non-metal plus oxygen gives non-metallic oxide that we have already done in our junior classes. This non-metallic oxide is also called acidic oxide because when this oxide reacts with water, it can be acid. And this is also called an acid and hydride because this, when reacts with water, can give can be acid. Or if you remove water from acid, you will get you will get non-metallic oxide back. As a result, this is also called acid and hydride. So non-metallic oxide. Now I will be removing this non-metallic oxide plus water. Non-metallic oxide plus water gives acid. Non-metallic acid oxide plus water gives acid. For example, carbon dioxide plus water gives carbonic acid. This is carbonic acid. Carbonic acid because this is acid of carbon. So this is oxy acid. So oxy acids are named by the non-metal other than hydrogen and oxygen. So this becomes carbonic acid. If you take SO3, sulfur trioxide plus water, then you will get H2SO4. This is sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. If you take SO2 plus water, you will get H2SO3. This is sulfurous acid. Sulfurous acid. If you take NO2 plus water, then you will get a combination of acid. Two acids you will get HNO3 plus HNO2. This is nitric acid, nitric acid, and this is nitrous acid, nitrous acid. When nitrogen, di when nitrogen dioxide reacts with water, it gives nitric acid as well as nitrous acid. So all non-metallic oxides are giving one acid each. Then why nitrogen dioxide is giving two acids? Nitric acid as well as nitrous acid. Because nitrogen dioxide is mixed or double anhydride mixed or double anhydride. So why it is called mixed or double anhydride is because it can give two acids that is nitric acid and nitrous acid. Again if you take nitrogen pentoxide plus water then also you will get acid. Then similarly non-metallic oxide plus water can be Acid. So what is the reason for nitrogen dioxide to give two acids? Because this is this is mixed or double anhydride. Mixed or double anhydride. These are anhydrides only, acid anhydride, but this is mixed or double anhydride because when it reacts with water, it can give nitric acid as well as nitrous. Acid. 2N, 2N, 2H, 2H, O5, 2, 2, 0, 4, and 1, 5. Okay. Now, number 3 was by the oxidation of non metal. By the oxidation of non metal.
number 3 is by the oxidation of non-metal by the oxidation of non-metal for example sulfur is a non-metal sulfur is a non-metal plus HNO3 strong oxidizing is in HNO3 is a strong oxidizing is in this gives this gives H2SO4 plus H2O plus NO2 so we did a general reaction for this general reaction for this that is non-metal plus acid gives acid plus water plus oxide so this is the general reaction my dear students it is very easy for us to learn general reactions if we know general reactions then all the reactions can be known so all the reactions we cannot learn so if we know the general reactions we can write the reactions now, non-metal plus strong oxidizing acid that, 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 that is a nitric acid gives sulfuric acid plus water plus nitrogen dioxide. Now, here what is there is that uh, it is not balanced. So, if you write here 6, then sulfur 1, sulfur 1, nitrogen 6, and nitrogen is 1 here, so make this also 6, so nitrogen 6. Then in oxygen, 6 3s are 18, 4, 6 2s are 12, 12 and 4, 16, 16 and 2, 18. Hydrogen, 6, 2, 2 2s two, are 4, so 6. So, sulfur plus nitric acid gives sulfuric acid, acid of this non metal, sulfuric acid plus water plus nitrogen dioxide. Similarly, if phosphorus as a non metal plus nitric acid gives acid of phosphorus, so acid of phosphorus is phosphoric acid H3PO4 plus water plus nitrogen dioxide. Now this is also not balanced. So write here 5 and with this, phosphorus 1, phosphorus 1, nitrogen 5, and nitrogen 1. So make this also 5. Nitrogen 5, nitrogen 5, phosphorus 1, phosphorus 1, hydrogen 5, hydrogen 3 and 2, 5, oxygen 5, 3 is 15, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 to the 10, 15. Now, the logic we have if you go on trying by trial and error method. For balancing the chemical equation, it may take a long time. So for you, if it is sulfur and the acid is nitric acid, it takes 6. If you are using phosphorus and the acid is nitric acid, it takes 5 and it will be balanced. That means with non-metal reacts with acid, it gives acid plus water plus oxide. Now, this is third way of making acid, third way of preparing acid. Now what is the fourth way? What is the fourth way? By displacement. Displacement. Now, by the word displacement, we have already done in class 9 displacement reaction. So in displacement reaction what happens? More active metal or non-metal displaces less active metal or non-metal from their salt solution that means here more active metal among more active metal will be displacing hydrogen from acid so 
Here, let me write this one first. Salt plus less volatile, less volatile acid. Salt plus less volatile acid, less or you can say non volatile. Less also it can be, or non volatile acid also you can use. Gives salt plus more volatile acid, more volatile acid, more volatile acid. Now, salt. For example, sodium chloride, sodium chloride plus less volatile acid, sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is less volatile acid. When reacts in heat, but here it has to be less than 200 degree, less than 200 degree Celsius. Heat has to be less than 200 degree Celsius. Then you will get NaHSO4 plus HCl, which is more volatile. Now, this regarding this, I think last class I've said you here hydrogen of the acid is present, so this is acid salt. So, what is the name of this acid salt? Sodium hydrogen sulfate. Sodium hydrogen sulfate. Now, my dear students, see here sodium is sodium is displacing only one hydrogen acid of only one hydrogen atom of the acid. Sodium is more reactive than hydrogen in major reactivity series. So sodium is displacing one hydrogen atom of this acid and giving sodium hydrogen sulfate plus hydrogen chloride. This is hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid. So what is the basicity of this acid in this reaction? So basicity of this acid, sulfuric acid in this reaction is 1. Generally what we say, sulfuric acid is dibasic acid. But basicity depends on the reaction also. So here only one hydrogen is displaced. As a result it is showing basicity 1. It is showing basicity 1. So that means here basicity is 1. Here basicity is 1 because only one hydrogen atom is removed by sodium. So, and my new temperature has to be less and this acid has to be concentrated acid. This acid has to be concentrated acid. The temperature less than 200 degrees Celsius. If, he, if the temperature is more than 200 degrees Celsius, it will form sodium sulfate. That means you will not get hydrogen chloride. So, the temperature has to be less than 200 degrees Celsius. Now, let's see for the equation, balancing of the equation. Sodium 1, sodium 1, hydrogen 2, hydrogen 1 and 1, 2. Then chlorine 1, chlorine 1, sulfur 1, sulfur 1, oxygen 4, oxygen 4. So, it is balanced. Now, Similarly, if you have to make nitric acid, if you have to make nitric acid, so what do you do? Here I was to make hydrochloric acid, so I took sodium chloride. So if you have to make nitric acid, then what do you take? So if you have to make nitric acid, then you will be taking nitrate salt. Then you will be taking nitrate salt. For example, sodium nitrate, sodium nitrate plus sulfuric acid which is less volatile, concentrated, gives NaHSO4 plus HNO3 which is more volatile acid. 
acid, which is more volatile acid. This is nitric acid and this is sodium hydrogen sulfate. The temperature has to be still less than 200 degrees Celsius, otherwise the desired reaction may not take place. So here also sulfuric acid is showing basicity 1 because only one hydrogen of the acid is displaced by sodium as a result this has become now acid salt. This is what? Acid salt. Acid salt. And last time I said you the nitric acid can produce two types of salt. One is acid salt and the normal salt. So if you increase the temperature then you will get normal salt. So, now regarding the preparation of acids, I think we have done with examples. So, you can read for your book also. Now, let's go with the properties of acids. Properties of acids. Properties of acids. Properties of acids. Let's do physical properties. Physical properties. Number one, acids are sour to taste. Acids are sour to taste. Acids are sour to taste, but some acids are corrosive in nature. They are very strong acids, mineral acids especially are very strong acids, they are corrosive in nature. So, don't try strong acids or don't try mineral acids, don't taste these mineral acids especially. It is best if you do not taste acids because they are corrosive in nature. Number two. Number two, acids, uh, they effect on the skin, effect on the skin, effect on skin, effect on the skin. All acids are corrosive. All acids are corrosive to skin. To skin, hence can be painful. Hence, the burn can be hence burn can be painful. Hence, the burn can be painful, and there may be blisters also. Number three. Number three, with indicators how they behave. Action with indicators. Action with indicators. Which ones? Then some of the indicators, methyl orange.
Uh, if I have to talk regarding the physical states, physical states, physical states of acids, then some acids are solid. For example, boric acid. Some acids, and most of the acids are liquid. For example, sulfuric acid. Some acids are solid. And some acids are liquid. So one of the solid, one of the solid acid is boric acid, and the liquid acid, sulfuric acid. Now there is very simple homework for you. Hope. You will see this video and try to do this homework. Number one, why nitrogen dioxide? Formula number two is called acid double or mixed acid and hydride and hydride number two. Number three, which acid is formed when chlorine gas reacts with hydrogen gas. Okay, this much for today. Next class we'll be doing chemical properties of acids and introduction of bases. Till then, stay safe and sound and do your work. Hope you will see the videos also. Thank you.